Hey star seeds, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is for uh, high vibrational divine energies, uh, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, the empress and the emperor. And a lot of us are high priestesses, high priestess with our intuitive gifts. Um, karmics, you won't be addressed. Um, when I was in my karmic energies about 35 years ago, I'll tell you what my granny told me. Shouldn't she be asleep yet? Shouldn't she be asleep by now? Yes. Okay. Now, to address our divines, this energy kept coming up. It was even in another deck. And that is an obvious, not a coincidence, sign that this card wanted to make a presence. So big. Union and power with our divine energy. So this is about our twin flames. I have a little pug here that is my little shadow. He likes to follow me and be right by my side every 24 seven. So if he takes off with my, <laughs> I have to like cycle my, um, chores, which I've done all day. And happy Easter. I was cutting the grass and cleaning my house as always. And also, divines, with this, these energies coming in, there are a lot of energy manipulations. Again, um, I guess our karma isn't a loud enough message until they keep getting their ass whipped. Um, they don't believe in God, so pretty sad. It's going to just get stronger and stronger until they finally learn. Um, if you're not in alignment with their twin, um, you know, good for them. Some of them are working on getting in alignment and at least thinking about what they have done, especially if they're with a karmic who's abusive. And, um, you know, like mine has, there's like a, a hacker, I guess, a feminine behind it. They're from Vietnam. I have their addresses sent all to FBI. And I'm keeping a journal. So I'm sure you guys are dealing probably with the same craziness. And um, not only all the spiritual um, catastrophes happening to them, they just are stubborn they don't listen they're not intuitive they don't listen to their divine guidance and they need to, a lot of healing so let's pray for their healing let's pray for their ascension so that all of our brother and sisters can become aware and have peace within their lives hey georgie bear it's my pug my sweetheart Okay, so we have Sobic showing up for us. A lot of us have our bloodlines, um, our Egyptian bloodline ancestors are saying that they are watching over us and also involved with um, a lot of, I don't know if they're having hauntings or um, ramifications for their abuse of power. Working in the low dimensional low vibrational and that we are covered in all of it right guardians of planet earth all of them respect and um acknowledge us as um divine energies i uh, also channeled today um some people are going through their spiritual awakening god bless you i'm really proud of you keep it up and uh, so we have a lot of um, 
divine masculines and divine feminines who have been trying to help their uh, counterpart, their person. Although we have kingdom marriages in 5D and children in 5D, don't worry. You know, we can eventually, divine has always got your back once you surrender to divine. To divine. And these children can merge into future adoptions or whatever you're led to using your um, divine intuition, your um, meditational times, what you're led to, you understand this. Um, so it's important that we release any, um, karmic ties that they have decided to go to. If your person has gone to a, a, a karmic situation because they had lessons to learn, right? And we, there's always one that is more spiritually evolved. And so the one that's more spiritually evolved understands this. Um, we need to be forgiving yet um, stay in our intuition for protection, right? And once they have um, just, there's no karmic between you two. It's divine between you two. It's our bloodlines between you two. And I've been getting a lot of downloads about our grandparents, even our great great grandparents, our great grandparents, who are involved in really pulling for us for the best for us while our person is going through their lessons, okay? And at the same time, stay um, open minded. And um, with discernment, you know, God is between you, once you surrender this to God, that you will continue to be blessed, okay? No matter um, what's taken them to go through their karmic lessons, okay? From what I understand, I'm hearing that um, there's some karmics that have been so um, relentless and stubborn uh, also mental health issues that have really concerned um, higher dimensions and they are going to eventually push the karmics out of the way but that won't happen until our person learns their spiritual lessons okay so root for them be their biggest cheerleader send them prayers of love and light and to help them in the best way that you can from your end in this situation. Leave it open-ended, this situation, so that our higher dimensions um, have the abilities to follow that request because they have the spiritual eyes and the spiritual knowing of how to handle this much better than us. And a lot of us in um, higher frequencies understand this. Some of them are going through miserable times. They just have to learn that they have to live in their truth. They have to listen, you know, I'm sure, I'm like thousands percent positive that their spiritual team has been, um, you know, tugging at their gut, their dreams, their knowledge, their feelings of the right thing to do what did they listen to their ego or their divine intuition and we all been through this higher vibrational um divine feminine divine masculine energies have been there done that bought the t-shirt so we have to allow them to experience this too for their own truths right right um <laughs> i don't know why i got this like sexual chemistry someone really likes um a lot of licking <laughs> oh and i heard a pop so my archangels are uh um confirmation 
Good. I'm, I'm really proud of you, and so is your ancestors on breaking generational curses. And also, there's some of you out there being so generous and caring that you even offered yourself to help break their generational curses too for them, picking up the slack. And their ancestors thank you for that. And I've gotten, like, some of you have broken three, and that's pretty badass. So good for you. <laughs> You're definitely being blessed for it. Um, no matter what low vibrational spell work, they can't touch, like a hammer, they can't touch this because we're too high vibrational. We're too, we're like in another portal, we're in another dimension. They can do all they want, but we're just like in a whole nother um, dimension and vibration that, um, you know, is out of their league. So just continue your salt bath, cleansing your energy, grounding, meditating, your yoga, taking care of you. You know, it's springtime. All these beautiful ducks and chickens are being born and a lot of beauty and nature that's naturally raising our vibrations. And also um, Mother Earth is thanking you for being guardians, volunteer souls, uh, coming from your comfort zone higher vibrational dimension and coming here being boots on the ground and when you sleep they have healing pods for you okay and you're protected by archangels so uh, that's a beautiful thing okay so that was it for my downloads let's do a reading okay <laughs> Oh, I also wanted to mention, while you're taking care, good care of yourself, spring's around the corner. Um, some of you are out there doing your exercises, and your ancestors are cheering you on, taking care of you, eating good, healthy, clean, organic foods, doing your detoxes, your antiparasitics, your antifungals with activated charcoal so you don't get sick. It goes, just goes out in the toilet. Also, um, there's this tea. I want to share with you, I got on, Am uh, not Amazon, I got on Etsy, it's called Radiant Skin Tea, and it has like um, organic ingredients, excuse me, I got hiccups, I need sugar water, organic ingredients, um, peppermint, spearmint, nettle, chickweed, dandelion root, burdock root, and um, that will make your skin glow and always um, exfoliate the old skin. Our skin, our whole body, organs, and everything are renewed every three months. So start now. And, you know, while you're shopping for your bikinis and working on your tans and, you know, just loving you. Also, I got like this, um, well, I have this bottle. I don't remember what this bottle was from, but um, it's a spray, so I kept it. And I put some um, purified water with um, Young Living, because they're like um, high quality, organic um, lavender in it, my essential oils I'm a member of. So I spray this on my skin. And this also um, really gives you that glow. And also frankincense is very good for your skin. And for you seasoned ladies, I got this um, very affordable. It's jade and you freeze it. And when you wipe it on your skin, I use this with my um, my lavender and my or my filtered water from the Berkey that um, it really lifts your skin and um, removes wrinkles and it's awesome. My daughter taught me about this. She's a nurse, so um, I just love it. But I keep all my stuff in the freezer because the cold is your best friend.
All right, my beautiful souls, let's see. Holy Spirit, Archangel Michael, show the collective what we need to see and hear for our high vibrational divine who's done all the healing work, who has given up all the low vibrational, toxic um, chemicals and it goes into health because health is wealth, right? Okay, so we have a past returns. And someone is vaping. I'm vaping, actually. <laughs> thinking of you. There's someone thinking of you. Okay. And this just popped out. A fake affair. So I feel like this goes right here. So, oh my gosh, this is a blow up doll, a plastic blow up doll could be like a karmic, right? Someone who is just um, fake, not authentic, not living in their truth, and but they see you as sexy as hell, and they like your licking. <laughs> a lot of sexual energy here. Okay, my passionate twin flames. Um, so if you have had a sexual encounter with your twin flame, you know there's been a kundalini awakening that they can never, um, there's a cord there that can um, never be cut because it's um, made by divine. Um, but divine can protect you and um, we'll put gatekeepers there. I have Jesus Christ, Archangel Michael here, Archangel Metatron, um, others. Don't worry. You just stay in connection with your divine energies. Stay grounded and in meditation on what to do. And I'm hearing really high vibrations in my ears. So there's someone's out there who um, is getting their clear audience opened okay drink distilled water with all these ascensions okay so um someone might be feeling guarded right now okay so if you're feeling guarded this is because you need to um do more grounding and be in your divine energies do more meditation in your prayers and find out why do you need to be guarded? Do you really need to be guarded? Because you have the entire universe. You have the entire heavenly realm on your side. So you can relax and work. And, you know, you're protected. So work on this. Again, you feel cautious. Maybe you've been burned by those people. But that's 3D. We're not in 3D. We're volunteer souls from higher dimensions. So we need to visit the, the dimension that we're from and our angelic um, earth angel realm, nine and above, that our galactic families might have a message for us. They're watching over us, that our archangels are definitely watching over us. We need to ask, okay? And our ancestors. So someone might be pregnant and we also, if you're not pregnant, you are just balanced. You're focused on your chakras, opening your chakras with the white light and then closing them when you're done in your meditation. Okay. And, um, this is why probably your sexual energy is so intense, but at the same time, always remember to close it down before you, um, go outside. Remember right after your meditation to close down those energies and you can put up your firewall so to speak and not worry about it again because you are totally um, in your spiritual authority. Okay? And you won't be absorbing other people's energies like most of us empaths do. 
and your inner child. So someone's been doing their inner child work. Good for you. So our inner child is our imagination. And in your meditation, go to that time when you had issues, when you were hurt, and hug yourself and love yourself and be your angel. We can uh, timeline skip. We can go back to that time and heal that time. We can hug and love that child and let them know that I'm here for you, I love you, and heal that time. Stop any triggers, anything that is going to be low vibrational and give gratitude for divine stepping in during that time and you will correct that timeline. Also, um, healed inner children hug ourselves in that time enjoy our imagination enjoy our creativity with a childlike mind we are receiving God because we're always growing and learning and open where children are like sponges and they're so open to seeing with their third eye intuitives understand this inner child is very very special And again, with the sexual energy, okay, a climax, all right? Because high vibrationals, we do have, um, you know, angels don't have sex because they say that not only do they, our consciousness, their energy, they're not a physical body, but they always feel like they're having orgasms. They always feel good. So um, that's the great thing about being in that love vibe, right? We are always in that climax feeling. We don't have to go um, searching for someone to get, um, you know, low vibe stuff from. It's free, it's a feeling, it's a vibration, and we've earned it. We are always in the climax vibe. <laughs> and you know, it is electrical when we do, that's God, right? Coming through our um, silver cord that brings in um, more electricity than we already hold from raising our vibrations. And it's really intense. So, you know, because we've had the strength and courage, we're highly rewarded right? And these climax energies that are highly blessed and feeling good. <laughs> and, you know, there's like the lower vibes have decisions and choices to make because um, they don't know better. They're still um, <laughs> to be or not to be. Um, it's to be like the Beatles the flow, the energy. God is real. They're still questioning um, who our creator is. And um, we're not these physical bodies. We are energy and we are connected by our silver cord. And until they realize this, then, you know, they will also have um, their epiphanies, their synchronicities, but they have to pay attention to it. They have to notice it. Some people just ignore it. They deal with their mundane, which is kind of sad. Um, but as twin flames who have a higher calling and are ordained by God, um, have are, are from a different dimension. And we have an inner calling to show us um, something isn't, what's wrong with that picture? <laughs> Hopefully they notice. Here we go. Twin flame in the house. Twin flames. All right. So, um, we are kingdom spouses in 5D, the vibration of love. And, um, on that five fifth dimension where, we don't have a me suit. It's where our crossed over loved ones are. It's where our crystalline bodies are. It's where our crystalline 
energetic bodies are. My son who crossed over is, is in 5D. And if you're a medium or psychic and, and communicate with, um, from God, then you understand this. We are from a higher dimension. So um, it's a little bit harder and it takes a little bit longer for those who are, say your person is used to operating in um, lower vibrations and um but still had some gifts but um abuse them or didn't use them the right way you have to give them time to process this and get it okay even though you have don't let it bother you just keep doing you right right so divine has brought you a partner a soulmate who is in your divine energies you can wait for your twin flame to, um, you know, and God is going to remove the karmic out of the way. It takes time, though. Um, you have to release that to divine. You can wait for your twin flame, or you can take your higher soulmate partner, is what divine is saying, because it's a journey, our healing journey. And it's not only for them, it's for us to, um, we're still evolving and growing, right? You can, um, hopefully you're writing a journal and you can notice that you've done some learning, right? You've learned about that you're a twin flame, right? Like me, I knew I was a star seed or I am. I knew that I'm from ninth dimension. I know I'm an earth angel. Yet, um, a year and a half ago, I met my twin flame and it was quite a trip. I had more to learn. I had more to understand about, um, okay, so this is an addition. <laughs> um, from what I understand, us 144,000 chosen ones who's answered the call, um, have more to their journey, right? And the more that we surrender to God, the more blessings that we get on this journey. So I can't, I'm not gonna say stress, but I can't emphasize enough how important it is to just give it to God. You know, God's the judgment, not us. Because um, we are married in 5D if we're not married on this level. Some are good for you you guys are like extra powerful and and blessed because of um the extra power and abundance that you have overcoming the lower dimensions and rising above all the crap and living in your your north node your purpose you're totally blessed and good for you so someone's going to have a reunion because both of you has recognized a sacred connection and um there's someone still soul searching though so this is the growth that you have to allow if this is your twin flame your person you have to allow that and again it's your choice you can take your higher vibrational someone who is on your level the same like you all right not um you know, if you're dealing with separation because it was too intense or whatever excuses they had, um, you know, it's your choice again with God, between you and God. God isn't between you and your twin flame. So it's your choice, what you want to do. Because God provides harmony, peace and harmony, right? And... We have a wife here that is going to get some gifts and offers. All right, beautiful. There's someone going through the dark night of the soul, and that's good. We've all been, all of us high vibrationals have been through the dark night of the soul. We had a time where we had to like reflect and assess everything about ourselves right how we affect others our responsibilities for our energies right like um spider-man's grandfather even said 
great power comes with great responsibility we have the power to destroy people but thank god we're in higher dimensions in order to have these higher powers because um we are integral and we're loving and we want the best for everyone so god is brilliant knows exactly what he's doing and who he gives a lot of power to someone is dealing with abandonment issues okay and i was a latchkey kid all right i get it i don't have a problem being alone hey um, made me smarter and we pick our parents before we come here so again great power comes with great responsibility there was a reason there was a lesson that was going to help us in the long run and we need to understand this in our our dark night of the soul because it's all for growth for our betterment in the end and romance and true love isn't this what life's all about love romance true love life is short life is short a blink of an eye and when we have romance and true love in our life um you know makes life sweeter really does and until then you can't beat the self-love you can't love somebody else you can't give love unless you love yourself whatever you pour into yourself is all that you can give to someone else so this alone time is so special so wonderful to find out and discover so much more about our own selves and you know not have any distractions and stay in our own peace and harmony and give that love to others is very very um, high-ranking valuable and I'm um, blessed right no distractions because our soulmate is here God says our soulmate is here yet yeah, it's our choice it's our choice it's all up to you what you want to do I only want to do what God wants for me and I know um, until my my twin flame I said give it to you God you know who you feel is best for me and there's blockages that Holy Spirit my ancestors will block my person until they are ready because um they love us they love us so much and when you give it to god god will really make your time for you quality time there's a reconciliation coming up for someone and um you know you give it to god it will be right timing okay it will be the right timing it will be when they're in alignment when they're you know ready to not hurt you or have any um distractions or whatever it's just going to be a very strong powerful emperor that has nothing to hide because you probably can see it and forget the past right we all evolve there's a lot of um, people who have broken out of um, satanic or Illuminati or whatever um, past and made their lives better so we can forgive as long as they are um, correct with God and using this time this alone time if you are um, to get right with God God will make sure that when they come to you they will be ready to um, be sincere authentic true and not hurt you and it's not only a destiny a choice right it's faded faded is by God and will never ever be touched by nothing else because God is the highest dimension nobody can reach it right we've got lifetimes upon lifetimes so don't worry about any um, threats or black magic or shit like that we got to stay in our high um, vibrational um, bigger picture there's always a bigger picture right 
and um, what's most important is staying your gratitude, your high vibrations, and work on your meditation every day like clockwork. I love living alone because I am 24-7 in conversation with my divine creator, and it's really been like a fast track to helping me grow. Someone has a delicacy. We are delicate, and at the same time, we are tough by, um, we can't put on our angel warrior, activate our angel warrior DNA, right? Um, in my sleep with Archangel Metatron, I do, um, I am a, a slayer, I guess you could say, and protected and put through portals and of higher vibrations and at the same time um, we can get into our 3D energies be cautious be cautious remember who you are remember who you come from remember your bloodlines okay and stay on your divine mission we can also be delicate right see our soulmate our higher vibrational soulmate or our high um, vibe in divine masculine is ready and we are there's some of us that are in our twin flame union we can um you know exalt the extreme power that has been placed upon this once we are trusted with it right because mental entrapment okay so there's a um a divine person or karmic and mental entrapment so they're still having to learn their um, spiritual authority because they feel wounded well they're going to have to heal and give it to God like we all have and raise our vibrations by gratitude affirmations about everything we're grateful for because we have a lot to be grateful for there's a lot of people that have less than us we I mean we have our phones on our that we can just look up who have overcome more obstacles and more um, issues than us so we need to pull our heads out of our asses and get out of our pity party and stop feeling sorry for ourselves and freaking make it happen there's someone walking away and I get that you know if you've been dealing with spiritual abuse or someone who doesn't treat you right and you deserve it um, you know hopefully you've warned them of the karma being um, in these divine energies they will get instant karma and um we'll probably fuck them up but you know what um meanwhile it will trigger their spiritual awakening so you know it's out of our hands it's between their soul contract and divine so we got intimacy who doesn't love it storm ahead okay you got a storm ahead Stay that beacon of light. Stay that lighthouse for others, no matter who it is, right? That's a part of our um, high vibrational divine energies in our independence. Because, you know, we could still be um, 16 years. I was a, I called myself a, a um, was it a dependent independent. <laughs> When you're married to someone in the military, they call you a dependent, okay? Well, I was an independent, independent. A lot of the military women and men are because while their significant other is out working for a long time, then we're independent, running the household, running the family, everything, right? We all have our office, some have home, children work whatever school um whatever our lives are and um work is work 
someone's going to get engaged. Congratulations, best wishes. And this should be the happiest time of your life. Don't settle for something out of frustration or some kind of abuse because um, if you don't listen to your true feelings, um, it's going to not be good. You have a Divine Feminine here. So good for you, Divine Feminines. I'm proud of you doing your work. And there's men in Divine Feminine Energies who've done their inner work too. And they're more psychic. Someone's going to make a final move. Okay. We play chess. The Karmics play checkers. So um, we'll see what happens right always give it to God and it will turn out good and there's a lot of passion with this hot 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 someone needs to stop someone needs to stop something something that I'm sure that their divine guidance has been warning them about are they listening to their divine guidance they better because um, <laughs> it'll really fuck them up if they don't. And they'll be in a karmic lesson that is going to probably hurt. And won't be happy. We'll be crying. So someone's crying a lot. They're not happy. And it's because they, they didn't listen to their divine guidance. It's always a lesson. And they're tired and standing while they're ignoring their divine guidance. They're dating. They have a child. A blessing. Someone feels protective over someone they love, which is the way it should be. Because they love you and they want to marry you because... They want to have the happiest day of their life. And they want it to last every day. Every day is a new day. Happy Easter. Watching the sun come up on the east. <laughs> They're going to put in the effort. Well, they have to, right? A man. A man. Who loves is old fashioned. And makes the effort, right? There's someone covering their eyes and they need to open their eyes. They are not looking at something that Divine wants them to see. Divine wants them to see and feel with their spiritual eyes the magnetic connection that really gets them sprung or wet. <laughs> because this is real freedom. And it will happen in the fall. And someone needs to take a step back to notice this, where divine is guiding them. Watch out, watch out for a masked offer, is what divine is saying. A masked offer. Fake, phony, not real. Divine saying release. We have to release what doesn't serve us on our best and highest good. And usually the past. Because we have to be in our north node moving forward in our spiritual purpose. And we can feel it. Again, winter time. Divine masculines in the house. I love my divine masculines working out, taking care of themselves, self-loving themselves, listening to their divine guidance, giving readings. You guys are just amazing and hot and you help. You not only did your transformation, but you help others with their transformation. God bless you. Who are great with communication and talking with your boo. 
purge and release. You help others to purge and release because you've done that and you can help others go through that. Summer's going to be great. Summer's going to be sweet for some of you. I'm looking forward to it. Always forgiving and healing. Forgive and heal our, um, our, our persons, divine feminines, divine masculines, because, you know, um, it's, it's tough. And if they don't get it this type, this lifetime, they still need to take that burden off their back. So if you can give them that peace of mind by forgiving and releasing, what a blessing that is and what a blessing you are in their life. Okay. Because God is going to give us a new pathway, give you a new pathway always. Um, those who learned to follow our divine guidance and the light, absolutely. A new pathway of love and light. There's unspoken truths that um, we know by intuition that is clear to us because we use our clairvoyance, our clarities, our clear audience, our clear uh sentience which is our gut feeling um all the clairs the smell taste clair alienance that's our smell <laughs> we've done our shadow work and we can help others go through their shadow work right teach them how to get in touch with their shadow work and how um we can process it and get to the other side with bold confidence knowing who we are where we came from reflection of ourselves and that makes us just even that much more powerful and in our own um spiritual authority to help others right it's spring beautiful time i love this time of year and in the shadow work we go through our reflection right and um someone's husband or someone is a husband and looks so dapper with his suit on and his both gold bow tie what a hottie and you know what behind every successful man is a strong woman so never be afraid to stand in your authority divine women divine feminines and you masculines let your woman be that strength and you know what she knows she knows and wants you to be a man and in your place and will never take it put you on a pedestal because um you're all that in a bag of chips to her cleanse our energy especially now before the um equal or the what is it the uh solar eclipse a lot of things well we just had the lunar eclipse so emotionally god has eclipsed a lot of things that's why we're feeling relieved of emotional releases and then the solar eclipse is going to um more likely eclipse a lot of the um visual things that are not serving us in our best and highest good and putting us on our best timelines okay and this is the hidden truth which is always our clairs, our clarity, our divine guidance that we get through dreams, not illusions. Illusions is um, magic that low vibrational magic that we need to cleanse and stay in our truth, living in our truth, our clarity, our divine clarity, and get out of our heads, go out in nature, raise our vibrations, right? Someone is longing for their um, their partner, their kingdom spouse, and let them. It's part of their spiritual awakening. They're living in regret. They made a mistake. Well, you know what? Nobody's perfect. That's how it trig God triggers us to the truth. So they're holding back. Um, yikes. They're dealing with a karmic who's annoying, loud mouth, um, abusive, forceful. And God is saying divine timing. And 
like I've been getting, God is going to forcefully remove the assholes out of the way that are karmic and not um, really beneficial other than probably triggering this person to do their spiritual awakening. If it's triggering their this person to, to spiritually awaken, God will let that happen. Yet, this person has already um, mastered their healing and stands up for themselves, stands up for their feelings, is in their clairs or divine guidance, standing in their spiritual authority, their spiritual power. Um, God's going to say, get out of the way, you know. Um, once we learn our karmic lessons, then God will turn the page. So, um, be gentle with them, okay? Because we've been there, done that. We know what it's like. It's very painful, like walking on eggshells. So, um, we just want to nurture them and love them in the divine energies that we hold, right? Hold them like a baby and just give them all the love that they need. <laughs> Some of them want to be seduced. Well, we can do that too. Um, you know, talk about it. What do you guys both enjoy? What um, lights your fire, right? Um, there's memories between you two that is, um, we've got your pictures. They're looking at your pictures, probably rubbing one out to it. And they've written you a love letter, but they haven't sent it yet. Or they have, and, you know, hopefully you prayed about it and gave it to God and acted on your divine guidance, right? That's why I tell God, you know, I'll do what you want me to do. Yes, if you say so. No, if you say so. That's, I keep it simple. <laughs> Here we go with unspoken truth, right? We have to use our clairs, our own truth, our true truth. It's not woo-woo, it's true too. Like um, everyday medium Jamie Butler says, and look, can't make it a new path, all right? Every day is a new day. The sun rises, every day is an Easter. And, um, you know, we just have to stay in our truth. And that's our true freedom and our best choices and our best life. And, you know, children are what life's all about, and we have to give them the best. And we also can show them, we have to lead by example and show them that we are not cowards, how to be brave and strong and stay on our new path. And they will too. They're like, um, little sponges, okay? So, God bless you guys. I hope this helped you. Again, new pathway. The sun's going to rise in the morning again. Stay working on yourself, focused on yourself. And if you're with your divine partner, then awesome. I'm proud of you guys doing your divine mission. And um, let me know in the comments what your divine mission is. And what you're doing for humanity that just really um, makes me happy. <laughs> God bless you guys. Take care. Peace out. And the divinity in me honors the divinity in you. Namaste.